Hello friends, so we are here for studying the antimalarial drugs. There are the uh, types of antimalarial drugs, they are classified into a uh, main type. But uh, here we are uh, studying the chloroquine drug, the mechanism of chloroquine drug. Chloroquine is the most famous antimalarial drug and actually it is effective in all the four types of plasmodia. It is also called, is also called as the CQ. The plasmodia, all the four types of plasmodia are the plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malaria. Uh, let me write it here down. Plasmodium vivax, then plasmodium malaria, falciparum, and the um, ovale. Now, uh, in India, the falciparum got its resistance against the chloroquine. So it is uh, the chloroquine is ineffective against the uh, plasmodium falciparum and the vivax. We can't use the chloroquine because it is ineffective in for the relapses in the vivax. So, mm, now the relapses in the chlor um, malaria fever is uh, is um, is uh, really effective. Chloroquine is effective against it in one to two days. Now chloroquine acts on the erythrocytic cisontocyte, um, erythrocytic cisontocyte. So, how I mistake in the spelling? Uh, let me cut here. Cisontocyte side means it's actually killing the cisont within the erythrocyte. That is RBC. So the um, the phases of the malaria like the pre erythrocytic and post erythrocytic and erythrocytic phases. So chloroquine is active against only the erythrocytic phase because it's killing the um, uh, plasmodium which is in the erythrocyte. So it is ineffective in the pre and post erythrocytic phases. So it is the point to be noted here. So let's come to the mechanism of chloroquine, how it works in our body mechanism of action of chloroquine. So first of all, we have to understand uh, what the uh, plasmodium does in, in works, how it works in our body. So let's assume this is a vessel, any artery or vein, and it's an uh, uh, RBC, erythrocyte. So let's assume the uh, on diagrams are horrible, I know. And HB are here in, inside the array. RBC. Now this uh, plasmodia okay, uh, comes in the RBCs, resides here, and uh, it uh, takes up the hemoglobin in, uh, in it. Now hemoglobin is needed for various uh, various metabolic uh, reactions for the uh, plasmodia. It might need it. Now let me um, draw a big. Uh, size for of the plasmodia for you to see. Now this is the plasmodia. Mm, I like to don't go on the diagram because uh, it not might be the same as that of the plasmodia. And uh, here I am drawing the vesicle uh, again, not the lysosome actually vesicle. Uh, the plasmodium vesicle is acidic in nature. The acidic nature is helpful for the reactions with uh, which are occurring within within it. Parasite. Okay. So the parasite it accumulates Hb in it. Now this Hb get, gets inside the vesicle. Now what it does inside the vesicle? Actually, uh, let me draw the vesicle in, uh, below here uh, for you. Now Hb after coming the vesicle it undergoes degradation. Now there are various stages of degradation uh, of intermediate products. So heme is one of uh, it, and which is really toxic to the plasmodium. Uh, hence the parasite converts it into a non-toxic form of heme, which is also called as the hemozoin, a parasitic pigment, uh, which is hemozoin, non-toxic. So let me uh, write here hemozoin and here the name of the uh, vesicle are all right vesicle which is acidic yeah so the conversion is really really required for the plasmodia uh, to survive because heme is really toxic now let's see the, what the chloroquine does uh, when it comes inside the body 
be curious so when it comes uh, um, it enters the blood stream and uh, uh, accumulates gets accumulated by the sensitive uh, parasite yeah parasite itself accumulates the chloroquine now the um, resistant chloroquine resistant uh, back, uh, parasite can't accumulate the chloroquine so here the chloroquine enters the parasite and it also gets accumulated inside the vesicle of the parasite okay it enters the vesicle also and here it comes in the vesicle and it actually interferes uh, uh, being uh, being uh, slightly basic it raises the ph of the vesicle and uh, it actually interferes with the degradation of hb it stops the uh, conversion of heme into the hemozoin mm -hmm. so the toxic heme is gets accumulated inside the vesicle and hence it is it is toxic actually to the parasites so it degrades